A stone is dropped from the top of a tower 500 meter high into a pond of water at the base of the tower. So we have a long tall tower and 500 meters. So the stone drops to a pond here and then uh, when is the splash heard at the top? Then the sound from the splash will reach the top. So we have two different times to calculate. First time will be the time required for the drop and second time will be the time required for the sound. So the drop will uh, can be solved in such a manner. Let's see what we can do here. We have S is equal to ut plus half at t square. This will be the easiest equation here. Displacement is minus 500 as it is downwards. We don't have any initial velocity, so it's zero. And gravity is minus of 10, so half 10 t square. And this will be t1. Here we have 5, minus this will cancel out. t1 square will be equal to 100. t1 comes out to be 10 seconds. So this is the first time t1, which is the required time for the fall. Now the sound will take its time to reach and here we can write s is equal to vt because sound obviously has a constant velocity, no acceleration. It has to cover 500 meters with a speed of, are we given speed? Yeah, 340. With a speed of 340 meters per second. So t2 will come out to be 50 upon 34 or we can write it as 25 upon. 17. This is not something greater than 2. So we can simply say the answer is 10 plus 1.47. This should come out to be about 1.47. So when we add these two times, we get the total time, the time required for the sound to reach to the top.